Okay, in the first video, what we did is that we did the lookup for the detailed view. But in here, a lot of the time, you actually can have a grid view and you want to be able to do lookup in, this, in the grid view instead of the detailed view. First, we have a customer called form customer. Oh, there's a mistake, it's form mm customer, but anyway. And in this form customer, we have a grid that, tie, that is tied to the customer table. Now we want to delete some of those columns. You can make this as big as your form if you want to by clicking on it, your grid, and then you see, or by clicking on, the, on that arrow, you see, and then there's something called doc in parent cont uh, container. What it, that means, it means that it'll be how, as big as your form, okay? If you don't want to do that, you can just say undock it, undock from parent container. We want to edit the column. We have all these columns, and I want to, we have these two things that we really don't need. I'm going to total sale, I'm going to remove ABC, I'm going to remove number of customer, I'm going to remove, and then that one I'm going to remove. So I just have basic information about the customer. All right, what else can we do? Let's take a look at the city. A city right now is a text box, meaning what? Here, if you look at the column type, it just say data grid view text box column. But you can say it is not a text box column, it is what? A combo box column. Now, here, I don't have that wizard thing I can just drag and drop. I have to set it up manually. All right, this, the property name is city, I'm fine. The data source, now I have to go back. Remember what we did with the first one? You need to select the data source, project data source, customer data source, cities. Okay. Then what value do you want to display? Because this is the city and not the city ID, I wanted to display the city field. Collections, if you don't want to tie into a database, you can enter your values here. But we're getting the value from the database, so we don't want to do that. So if you want, if your values, if you just have specific values, you can just enter them here. If you click on the collection and I click here, like you just enter them here, like you remember when we did the items, you can do that in here. The value member that I select is the city again. So what I display is city and what I, and the value member is again is the city. All right. Okay, so we're done with this setup. Now let's see if it actually works. And then hit OK. Right? Now notice I have my city now is changed. It looks something different. If I click on run, now first of all we need to show this form. So I have to change, we want to go to the main form, form one, not this one, the main form. Uh, and then do what? What do we need to do? We need to add a function that say city or customer's grid, right? Customer grid view. Okay. And I double click on it and basically copy any of these code. Control copy, control paste. And instead of that, what do we call it? Customer or form customer. Great view. All right, and then we show it. Then you say midi pair in this, and then we show it. All right, so let's go ahead and run it, see what happens. If I click on this and customer grid view, it works, right? And then I selected, if I select a different city, Sharjah, and I click on save, it works. But there is a problem here. The problem is that when you close the form, you get an error, you get an exception. 
And then if you hit okay, 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 you'll get that error, you continue. The only way to get out of this is that you have to close it from, anyway, it'll eventually close here, but you can close it from the program because I, I can't get rid of this. You can just click on stop in the program, okay? Are you getting the same error? When you close the form, when you close the form, you get the error. And I'll tell you why you're getting this error. Okay, go back to the form customer table. Watch what's happening, yes, Abaya. These we had originally. The customer data set, the, the binding source, the table adapter, the da table adapter manager, the navigator, all this we had previously. But when I change it to the, when I change the combo box, I get these two. City binding source and city table adapter. What's happening is, when I close the form, I'm closing these first. I'm closing these first. And when it's trying to go through the data grid now, it's saying, oh, wait a minute, this table, the, the city table adapter is not anymore, it's not there anymore. So you're getting that error. So what we need to do is that we want to close the connection, the data grid, or we want to break the tie between the database and the data grid when we are closing the form before we, the system closes this automatically. So I want to close this first, then I can close that one after. Now this is a little bit different. This is the way you do it. We have events. These events called are called depending on what's happening in your application. One of them is that when you are closed, when the form is totally closed, and one of them is when the form is closing. If you double click on the form, if you remember, if you double click on the form, on the code, we have a form called, we have a method called form customer load, right? So when you're loading the customer, when you first start with the customer, this is what's happening when you load the customer. I want to do something when I am closing the customer form. How do I do this? You go to the form, again, and click on the properties of that form. One of the options above, You'll see this uh, like a bolt. It's called events. Click on that and you'll see one of them is called what? Form what? And we have to select the form first to do that, okay? Not the grid. Select the form first. Don't select the grid because the grid has different event. Yeah? One of them is called what? Form closing. Do you see that? You have form closed and you have form closing. You have many things. Double click, if I click on the form, if I drag and drop, if I do, all these can be programmed in your form. Here, the difference between form closing and form closed is what? One happens before you actually close the form and one actually when the form is totally closed. You got the idea? So I want to do it just before I close my form. I want to tie that break between the data grid. So what is it? how do you do this? You double click on what? Form closing. Now in your code, you have an event to, that handles the form. All right? Okay, so what do we do with this form closing? Remember, I have the, I have the, uh, if you go back to the design, this, I have a data, this is a data grid, right? Let's take a look at the property of this data grid. What's the name of this data grid? If you select the data grid, what's the name of the property of the data grid? Not event, I don't want event, I want properties, right? Okay. F4, huh? 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, here. What is this? What's the name of this uh, data grid? Table customer data, table customer data grid view. Mm -hmm. This has an attribute called data source. Do you see that? Yeah. This data source right now is tied to the database, mm -hmm. to the binding data source. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is that if when I'm closing, I want to make that to null, set it to null. You got the idea? All right, so let's go back to the form, and then here is my closing event. So I'm going to say this, dot, remember what was the name of that? Table what? Table customer. Dot, table. Table, customer, binding navigator, and then we have what? Do you see that? Table underscore customer data data grid view, right? Then I say it has an attribute called data source. Do you see that data source? And then you make that equal to null. So before I close the form, I break the tie so I don't have that issue one closing before the other okay now let's go ahead and run it and see what happens if I click on this and now if I click on close I don't have that issue anymore you got the idea yeah Okay, so we're done with the first one, the first part. The next part is that we want to actually do it for the city ID. Instead of displaying the city ID, we want to display the city name, but when it's stored, it stores the city ID. So we do the same thing. Okay, so we want to do this for the city ID the same way but instead of displaying the city, we want to display the city and store the city ID in the table. So we want to change this to a combo box. Again, we click on it, edit columns, and then you go to the city ID. We change it to what? The style to combo box. And then we need to, again, the data source. Now I already have a binding data source, city binding data source from doing it earlier. Do you see that city binding data source? Because we did it for the previous one, so I don't need to do it again. I can just simply select that. And then here, uh, what I have is that, then I have the display member is what? The city. But the value member here is what? The city ID. Not the city, the city ID. Then I click on OK. Again, let's test it and see what happens. Customer grid. Now, if you go to the end, I have the city is being displayed. But what I am actually, when I do click on this, click on this and this, and when you click on save, you close it. Now, in the database, I'm storing the city ID instead of the city name. Again, to check it, you click on customer view, you'll see that it's working. If you go to the grid, if you go to the data source and then you view the data, if you click on, the, if you, uh, if we want to view this data, I don't know why it's not working here, but you can just do it from here, view the data. You'll see that the, la the city ID, the last three are the same, which relates to Fujera city. All right, so we're done with the lookup.